This is probably one of my favorite upgrades that I've done to this Arctic Fox 992. It's a 2018. So this has the Fox landing on it. It also has a set of torque lift glow steps. So these glow steps you see here, I had installed those as well as the stow and go bracket, which is that white bracket right there. I had installed those to the bumper on my previous Arctic Fox, which was a 2010 811, and that camper predated the versions that have the Fox landing. So when I sold that camper, I kept these steps, didn't know what I was going to do with them, but somebody on a Facebook group for Arctic Fox and Wolf Creek truck campers gave me the idea of how to mount that bracket. So we've got four steps here. The original Fox landing step had two steps and there was quite a bit of space from one step to the other. And then if you're parked in a somewhat unlevel spot where you need to raise the back end of the rig, then the step up or down from the bottom step to the ground or from the ground to the bottom step could be as much as a foot or more. So this drastically improved the safety and the ease of going up and down the steps because you've got more steps. So what I have done here is I drilled a few new holes into the Fox landing. I also drilled a few new holes into the stone go bracket. So I was able to line up some of the new holes in the stone go bracket with the existing holes and threaded nut cert that's part of the Fox landing. So this bracket originally had six holes in it. Two over here, two in the middle, and two over here. And the Fox landing had four holes. One which is lined up right here, and then another one which is lined up right there, and then we had two down at the bottom directly below. So that one on the bottom, and then this one on the bottom. So what I have done here, you can see I drilled some holes here. Originally I had the bracket mounted offset so that the top of the bracket was down in this hole using that hole. Finally I decided it would be more logical to have this top step flush with the top of the Fox landing so I drilled some more holes. So this hole here is a new hole that hole is a new hole as well as this one so this one goes into the original threaded location of the fox landing and so does this one so this one i drilled a new hole in the fox landing and put a stainless steel nylock nut on the back so overall i'm very happy with this upgrade i don't travel with these steps attached because it would put a lot of weight and stress on the Fox landing. I always pull the steps off and stow them in my trailer. That's a little seven by 12 cargo trailer that I haul motorcycles in as well as any extra camping gear and lawn chairs, portable generator, the, all of that kind of stuff. There's been a few times where I have considered adding a fifth step, but I accommodate and put little leveling blocks underneath. And I, if you look here, these are the extendable feet that torque lift sells. So I have those extended all the way at their tallest setting right now. But even with those blocks underneath, the steps are not quite level. You can see there, looking at the alignment in relation to the Fox landing. I've got just a little bit of a downward slope. So if your truck is relatively tall in comparison to my 2009 Chevy Dually, a fifth step might be a nice thing to have. And I haven't ruled out the possibility of doing that, I just haven't done it yet. And I haven't really decided if I need it that bad or not. I would say if you're older and prefer steps that are closer together in vertical height, then a fifth step might be a definite must have. But then the other thing to factor in is I would highly recommend not traveling with the steps attached. So detaching them, then of course you have to have some place to stow them. I mean, you could put them inside of the truck camper, but it might be an inconvenience to have to fiddle with those steps every time you want to get in, into, in and out of the truck camper when you stop somewhere. So that's just another thing to factor in. 
as far as your decision on whether or not you really want to go with this system or not. For me, it's not a big deal to just flip the Fox landing down and then stand on the tongue of my trailer and then step up onto the Fox landing to get into the camper when I'm traveling. Like when I stop at a rest area and want to get a snack out of the camper or load up with groceries at a grocery store and route or things like that.